Hello everyone, it's Helen. Welcome to my very first process video for Kitaholic Kits. When I first looked at the April kits, this paper caught my eye. I knew that I would be fussy cutting at least one of these lovely green scallops out. The other item that got me inspired was the Hello Wood veneer and I thought an introductory layout was definitely the way to go. So of course, I had to go and find a photo of myself. I started with this piece of basil marshmallow. Now it's not in the kit, but I find it very hard to do a layout with at least one piece of it. And I decided that I needed to mat behind my photo. Now because it was black and white, some of the colours changed the tones of the photo, whereas this piece of patterned paper was really cute and it suited the colourings. My problem was deciding which corner to cut into. And then this piece of blue was a perfect piece for a bit more of a matting behind. A little bit offset, but I decided then and there that this layout was basically going to be blue and green. Yeah, my favourite colours, so of course, way to go. I also got the mixed media kit this month because, no, well, to be honest, a bit of mixed media makes me very happy. That's why I start with a piece of white cardstock for all my background page because I love to add ink and stamps and stencils to create my own personalised backgrounds. This green ink from Kaisercraft was a great way to start. After a few attempts to get the right amount on the page, I added a few splatters and when it was dry, I got this stencil out and some cornflower blue archival ink from my stash. Well, I think that's the colour anyway. In the embellishment kit is a roll of washi tape. And I thought it was a perfect, well, because it is green, and I've decided to do a green and blue layout, basically, or green, blue and grey, it turns out to be. It was a perfect base for my scallop. After rounding the end, I just used some liquid glue to stick it down quickly, knowing full well that I'm going to come back in with my sewing machine. I rounded the end of this little piece and used that to position underneath just to make a couple of lines of the scallop. Here you go, quick zipping through of the wa of the washing machine, hmm, of the sewing machine. I use my hmm, pokey tool, you know that little thing there you can see on the bottom right hand, I don't know what the proper name of it is, to pull the threads through and just use some double sided tape to stick it on the back. A bit of fun foam to give my photo some dimension and then I went looking through the embellishment pack. This frame caught my eye and I decided that I would use it to add to diagonal corners. Hadn't thought of this when I put the fun foam on so I had to cut away at it so it would sit nicely but I just added that little bit extra to it. You may be able to spot that I somehow managed to get blue ink on my photo and instead of getting a new photo I just use those things as a place to determine where I put some embellishment and that little blue tag that says attitude perfect place for it. I pulled some thread out of my stash turned out to be the perfect matching green and used that to place either side of the photo. These pieces are from the embellishment pack and I just went through it and, find, and found pieces that I thought went with the meaning of my layout, something of my layout, anyway, and stacked them either side of the photo. Here you can see I'm just adding loads of tape so the photo doesn't move and I'm starting to build my embellishment clusters around. I found over the years that if I just rely on the glue from these chipboards, often it falls off later, so I'm a bit over cautious and tend to glue everything down. Here you can see I pulled out some embossing powder and I'm changing the colour of the wood veneer to black. And while it was still warm, I added a second layer of embossing powder, so it became a really thick layer of black over the top. 
So, a little bit about me, Kidaholic Kit people. Um, I'm West Australian. I'm turning the big 5-0 this year. And I've been scrapbooking for, ooh, years and years and years. Since my twins were 17 months old and they're almost 18. So quite a while now. I'm really excited to be part of the design team for Kitaholic Kits. And I'm looking forward to bringing you loads of videos over the following months. Hopefully you'll really enjoy them. Back to my layout. I like to make a few areas of or clusters of embellishment. So I've decided at the top right hand corner, under the hello and near the attitude tag are the places where I'm really going to focus on. There you can see I've got a little bit of extra glue and I just used my pokey tool to clean it up. These little pieces I'm pulling out now are from that glassine bag full of bits and pieces. They came in really handy, the coloured pieces that matched my colours of my layout. Used a few of the acrylic stars, a bit of liquid glue, it helps them stick really well. And then I'm going to pull out some of the puffy stickers and the enamel dots to finish off. Then I decide, hmm, a bit more sewing is needed. I like to have some kind of border generally around my page, whether it's a piece of pattern paper behind my white cardstock or a border that I've drawn myself, or in this case you'll see I'm going to get the sewing machine out again and sew a border. I use a couple of these little word stickers just to finish off that embellishment cluster there. And it's almost done. Just going to finish off with a little bit of journaling, just saying how excited I am to become part of the Kidaholic Kids family. And until my next video, thank you very much for watching and I hope I've inspired you to use some of your kit to make a layout. See you later. Thank you very much. Bye.